Hi guys, I am back with another video. NBA Youngboy X Side Chick 3 says NBA Youngboy is not ready for a relationship. He needs someone to hold him down because he's going through it and she feels bad for him. <laughs> Before we get started with this live and I do a little bit of commentary, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and go subscribe to my other channel once you finish this video. But anyway, in the live, she's talking about how she's worried about him, how he's not doing good. Everybody's like, oh yeah, he's doing good. But she's like, yeah, he looks good on the outside, but he, he's hurting on the inside. And once he gets over the fact of her hurting his feelings, she'll try to talk to him again because he's really going through some stuff. She said... These girls that surround him and just around him for clout to be seen and not really holding him down. They really need to hold him down because he's really seriously going through some stuff. So I'm going to let you go ahead and get into this live. Here we go. Definitely feel like he wants to be done with music. Of course, he missed doing music. Of course, that's what he wanted to do. But I pray for him and I hope that he finds his peace. I honestly do. And I hope that he find his way and I hope that he continue to be safe because life is too short. And I don't know. I'm just, I just feel like I just, you know, God got him though. Like he'll be all right. He been going through it before the, before the album hit. He been wanting to stop doing music. <laughs> Before he even dropped the album. Before the new year even started. He talked about it. But I don't know y'all. I just, I just hate it. I just hate it sometimes. And I really just want to stay off of social media. But it's like yo. I want to, I want to start my business, you know, I want to work, I want to, you know, start selling my product, but I'm not even into that shit because it's like, you see so much negative shit on Instagram. It's like, you don't even want to, you know, be on Instagram and selling your shit. Like I'm going to just build a website. I'm going to try to build me a website and just try to, you know, profit off of that. I might post it, post my, you know, my website on here. But other than that, like I really just, I'm tired of watching negative shit on social media. And then when I come on here and I talk. It's like I'm delusional, I'm stupid, and worry about your kids. When y'all know I'm a good mother, besides anything that I went through, you know, I went in your life because you're a good girl. And so I just try to not say nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. It get better. That's my problem, though. I gotta stop letting other people's hurt and pain be mine like my being this bitch mm -mm. i'm finally getting back to myself i see like but mentally i just gotta get back to who i used to be because it's just like i'm be sad as shit like i be sad as fuck but y'all tell me to go for it don't tell me to go for it and don't have my motherfucking back when i go for it but not like, you know what I mean? Not being messy, though. Like, not being messy. But when I do, y'all hear my fucking back. Or the people to be fucking harassing me. <laughs> Boy, you is crazy. Why are you typing all that? You're not delusional. People that come on here just like you to see you doing good. Just don't like to see you doing good. Yeah, I can understand that, too. But, mm -hmm. some people just weird. They really think that a person can make up all this shit and some, I'm just lying about everything. We got your back if you allow us to be. I'm not taking it out on y'all, no. I'm not taking it out on y'all. Like, you know, I am not taking it out on y'all. Have you currently? No, I have not talked to Control. I have not talked to Control because I have done and said a lot of things that have hurt his feelings that I know for a fact it does. So I'm just trying to find the right time to talk to him. He's not hurt. <laughs> I mean, okay, his outside body is okay, but mentally he's fucked up. He's trying to find peace. He just want to be left alone. These niggas just keep fucking with him. Like I said, life is too short. Like this shit ain't no, this shit is not funny. This shit is not a game. 
Life is too short. Like, if a nigga can get in your space like that, it's something ain't right. How you know what control hurt my control hurt my feelings? You think he hurt my feelings? <laughs> y'all go off y'all go off of what y'all hear on social media. Personally, control really didn't do anything to hurt my feelings. Yeah, we argued about, you know, little shit, some dumb shit, but personally, he ain't hurt my feelings. He's not a bad person. He's not what y'all think he is. He really has a good heart. He really does. He don't like the fact that he, Go, no, you can't. You're not getting no candy at no. What time is it, y'all? Ten twenty-eight in the morning. Bye. Go get something to drink. Water. Go get your water and drink it out of the refrigerator. And goodbye. Talking about candy, girl. Please. Get up. Get up. Talking about some damn candy at no ten twenty-nine in the morning. You better drink some fucking water. Control is not ready for no relationship at all. <laughs> but I just feel like the bitches that he have around, like, can one of you bitches do something? They just want to be, have a nigga be on your Instagram or be seen with the nigga. Like, can one of you bitches, like, really hold him down? Like, really give him, help him heal? Because this shit is bogus. I don't want to be in a relationship right now. Man, it's 20 years old trying to find himself. A relationship is not something that he needs right now he needs somebody that truly really care for him and want to see him do better within and he gotta let them really young bro that's what he needs and i'm not saying he needs me whoever it is y'all already know whoever he deals with i just pray that they're able to help him heal every everything that he's going through i'm not saying oh my god i want to be with him no anybody that deal with him i just pray that they find the strength to you know help him heal Talk to him. Sit down and really have conversations with him. The fuck? Like, the shit that he be doing, I'd be like, the fuck is you doing? <laughs> Them niggas supposed to handle that. Fuck is you on social media for talking to anybody? They shouldn't even have the privilege to even have a conversation with you. Whatever the fuck they did, first of all, the niggas didn't even get no call. They didn't get nothing. So what you explaining yourself to them niggas for? Fuck them. Handle that shit off the internet. Niggas ain't get shit. They had the keys, didn't even take a call. They didn't even take a call. It's a bunch of fucking kids. I don't care. I'm gonna I'm a fucking uh, make my page private. The fuck is you on Instagram talking to them for? Like, niggas really be baking you a cake. Really want to see you in jail. Really want to see you dead. And all you doing is, you know, feeding into it. He ate child at the end of the day. See, the control was a grown ass man. He's 20 years old. You're no fucking child. His thinking in his mind is not like a 20-year-old. Like, if you haven't been around him and had conversations with him and understand him for who he is, he don't think, his mind don't think like a 20-year-old. Y'all look at the shit that's on Instagram, that which y'all feed into and y'all display. These females deal with what they want to deal with. They, they are what they allow. So, a nigga not telling a bitch to, oh, do this and do that. Bitches be wanting to do that shit. Bitches be wanting to, you know, be seen or, you know, just be around. He not making these bitches do nothing. These bitches want to do that shit. So that make him look bad on his part. The fuck? You know, a, you know a nigga fuck with bitches. If you feel like, if you feel, if you feel like you want to deal with a nigga that fuck with multiple bitches, then that's on you. The fuck? It's definitely not. Y'all just look at this shit on it, but I'm not debating with nobody. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. I'm not debating with none of y'all about what anybody say. The fuck? Now you're blocked. Care for that. You too. Tell my he's a child. No, the fuck he's not. <laughs> Mm. 
because you must be a child. Everybody agree with you because you must be a child. I said what I said. Half of you motherfuckers just don't even care. Y'all like the drama. Y'all like drama. Y'all like drama more than y'all like. Y'all really understand him for who he is. Y'all like the drama. Y'all play with the drama more than anything. Y'all can't even look in the nigga eyes or look at a nigga and be like, damn, he really going through something. Fucking grown ass man. Look. Now I'm gonna shut up now, y'all. We talk about something else. Because I gotta mind my business. I gotta just mind my business. Mind my business. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I gotta just mind my business. Y'all like my shirt? Mm-hmm. Real is rare and fake is everywhere. Everybody is fucking fake nowadays. You can't trust no motherfucking body. Thank you. I cut it up. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like like I said before, I'm going to always support him. I'm going to always pray for him. But, like, something got to give. And I just feel like he needs to really, like, separate himself from every fucking body at this point. Because niggas is fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Niggas not even playing like that. Like, fuck out of here. And... Him to even be on Instagram, keep responding back to them niggas. Like, you you just as goofy. <laughs> Shut, don't, I wouldn't even entertain them niggas. Real shit. Mm, 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 mm. But I, I guess females are more realer than niggas anyway. A, a female gonna let you know what it really is before your homeboy do. Because your homeboy will let your dumb ass get on Instagram and say some wild shit. Or do some wild shit. Then a female really lets you know what it really is. But at the end of the day, yo, I ain't no fucking, I ain't no fucking body. My opinion don't matter. And I'm tired of just, I'm just tired. I need to come across some shit to get my mind off the shit. Real shit. Like, geeking. Fuck out of here. <laughs> It's not even about what he's doing. Like, control ain't slipping nothing. He's not going to let nothing happen to him. That's a fact. He ain't going to let nothing happen to him. Everybody keep doing these predictions. I pulled a die from a drive-by yesterday. That why I ain't jump on none of my... I pulled a die from a drive-by yesterday. That why I ain't jump on none of my... Everybody keep talking about... he Control ain't going to let shit happen to him. I'm, I know. It just be the, sh the energy that's around him that be fucking me up. That's what be fucking me up. But he know it. He know he he knows it though. I don't know where his mind is, but you keep your enemies and the people that envy you the closest to you. So hey. That's what you do. You keep the motherfuckers that, you know, you think you think that's not gonna do nothing. You keeping the closest to you. That nigga not gonna let nothing happen to him. <laughs> At all. No, you have grown ass people that don't think smart. It's not kid. It's just lack of knowledge. It's just lack of stability. You are what you hang around. You are definitely who you hang around. You you are what you hang around. So when you got motherfuckers just be, oh yeah, do this or say this, uh huh, take my phone and talk to these niggas. You are what you hang around. If you hang around it, if you're around it, that's what you that's what you are. But I just feel like. Like I said, my opinion don't matter, but he already know. Like, I fuck with him. Like, I ain't, that's just what it is. Like, that's just, I'm going to always, you know, support him. But, like, when you doing goofball shit, it's like somebody got to step in and be like, hey, come on, yo. Like, get it together. Fuck them niggas. That shit is materialistic. Control can buy 20, 20 more cars. Control can buy, get whatever, 20 more shoes. Your life is more precious than allowing these feet until fuck shit. Your life is more precious. Fuck them shoes.
You know how many shoes this nigga got and can buy? Fuck that shit. Don't allow that shit to happen again. The fuck out of here. Where were your friends trying to tell you slipping when you used to be on it? Clearly, they wasn't my friends. Don't ask me where my friends was at because I ain't had no motherfucking friends. Don't tell me that. Like I said, I, I, you are what you hang around. When you around dumb shit, you feed into dumb shit. I'm 24 years old. You live and you learn. Don't ask me no dumb ass shit like that. I, don't, I didn't have no friends, clearly. <laughs>